Hey there, Clashers, it is Galadon. Thank you for checking out Clash of Clans Attacks. And today, where this may be another chapter in Galadon's Go Wipe Guide, more specifically, this will be a handbook for anybody who is using a Rage spell. We are going to cover a few tips that work not only for Go Wipe, but for any style attack that involves a Rage spell. These are the fundamentals that you need to use to make sure that you're using that Rage spell effectively. And here comes the first tip right away with this Town Hall 8 on Town Hall 9 Go Wipe, and that is avoid overlapping the Rage spells. Now there's a few reasons for this. The first and most obvious is the fact that Rage spells don't stack. Two Rage spells on top of each other don't cause your units to do double the damage. Also, you want to cover as much of the playing field, as much of the battlefield as you can with those Rage spells accelerating those units through those other structures. And now also, the Barbarian King's Iron Fist is a type of Rage spell. It does not stack with dropped Rage spells, so ideally you're going to activate it while he's outside the radius of a Rage spell as well. Also, when you're considering where you're going to drop those Rage Spells, try to drop them a slightly ahead of your units uh, so that they can use it for the longest time possible. You also want to consider how many defensive structures, how many buildings they're going to go through or walls they're going to go through. While that Rage Spell is down here, fantastic for skins, drops two beautifully placed Rage Spells, one to get his units into the Town Hall enclosure, the other one to wipe out that town hall and to take out all of those other defensive structures that are in the area to make sure he gets to 50%. And that is going to take us to our next tip as we watch this attack replay right here. And that is the fact that you need to drop that spell in the area where damage is most needed. Now in this case of this replay here, the units are getting ready to move into that wall there. The second wall is not down yet, but the rage spell goes down, helps those wizards and witches clear those surrounding structures and breach the wall. Here come the king and the Pekka right through that opening, in through the rage spell, over the jump spell, and straight to the town hall. Had that rage spell not been down there, those surrounding structures would not have been cleared and those units might have gone around rather than inside to the town hall enclosure. And again here we see a well-timed and placed rage spell right smack in the middle of this village as the town hall goes down and 50% is not far behind. And that is going to take us to our third and perhaps most critical tip. Place the spell where the units are going, not where you hope they're going. That rage spell does not work like a magnet. Units will not be attracted to it. They're always going to be attracted to the next nearest standing structure or defensive structure. And as you can see here, almost all of the units have wandered way off to the right here. King, Queen, Wizards, Pekka, and the rage spell is almost completely wasted as it eventually expires. And the second rage spell gets dropped in the center as well, while all of the high damage units are around here to the right. Had at least one of those rage spells been dropped outside ahead of the king and the queen, this attacker could have at least guaranteed himself one star for 50% damage. So while we can't possibly cover every single scenario that will happen with a rage spell, I think these three basic tips, if you can employ those, they will increase your chances of success. Along with the other chapters, of course, in Galadon's Go Wipe Guide, please do check them out. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite, leave your comments on what you guys want to see in the future, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks.